In this exercise, we're going to take a look at adding custom seating or a custom pose spot to a furniture item. So we've got our simple furniture item, which is a basic mesh that is associated or attached to our root node. This forms the basis of our furniture item. So to add a custom seat node, all we need to do Similarly to adding a standing or sitting pose spot, those are the defaults that will use the default animations of the avatar. What we want is to click on the custom button. But before we do, what we can do is change the name that's associated with the seat node. So if we click type and replace custom with our pose spot name, We'll just call this stoolie, press enter to confirm, and we click the custom button. That will add a set of seat nodes. What we can see that by default seat 01 stoolie is selected and that is our custom seat node. The other nodes, when we're using the toolkit, that will change catcher and pitcher and that will also append those with our custom label. So stoolie in this case, handle, that remains unchanged. So as with normal seat nodes, we just need to position this where you want it to be. And then save this file. So depending on how many seat nodes you actually need that are custom, you can change the name here. So if we needed to add a second, third, fourth seat node, we could either add a numerical append or something that uniquely identifies which stoolie pose we're using. So one, two, three, or A, B, C, doesn't matter. Or we can just rely on the fact that the seat node is automatically appended, well in this case it's 01, it would be 02, 03, 04, as the number of seat nodes increases as we add more seat nodes. But we only need one in this example, so now that we've got that we can save the file. So file, save as, custom seat spot and then save as. So that is the furniture item. What we can do from here is export this so we have a base furniture item. So to do that as with other furniture items just click on the export button. That will export our furniture item to include the custom nodes. So that's part one. The next part is to create the custom pose that we need for our furniture item. So before we do this, we need to make sure that nothing in the furniture project is selected. So we want to be select none. This is important. So nothing is selected. What we can then do is collapse the furniture tool. So click on the heading and expand the animation tool. Here, what we want to do is click on append animation file. So click on that, that drops in the avatar. So it's important to make sure nothing from the furniture item is selected before doing this, because the organization of the project in the outliner is important. So if we just collapse this, so this is the furniture collection. So this is the collection that's associated with the furniture. So it's the mesh, the seat nodes, the catcher picture and the handle. These must be in their own collection. Similarly, the animation scene tools need to be in their own collection as well. So we must make sure that nothing is selected from the furniture item when we add the animation tool or the avatar, because if we don't, 
what can happen is the animation scene information will appear in the outliner organized relative to the element that is selected and this can break the functionality of the tool so with that said clicking append animation file has dropped in a female avatar both the male and female use the same skeleton and a skeleton or some control elements that control the avatar skeleton if we select these so click and then just move them so we can either use the widgets so that's move and rotate don't use scale or we can use the shortcut keys which are G that grabs and R for rotate each one of these controls a particular element or aspect of the avatar and those keys again G R G R rotate doesn't work on all bones so G R G R so depending on what key we use depends on the kind of functionality that we get out of the particular control element so to make the pose what we want to do is enable auto key so I'll click that enable that and that means that whenever we move one of these elements it'll drop a marker in the timeline that represents each of the avatars bones so that's a brief overview what we need to do to get this pose to match the furniture item is toggle out of pose mode which we're in at the moment we need to toggle out of pose mode and into object mode so we're in pose mode we want to go into object mode and what this is for is so we can move the entire skeleton the entire avatar so that its origin point which is this tiny orange dot matches the origin of the seat node because this is where the avatar actually appears so what we're doing is posing the avatar relative to the seat spot as the origin point and the mesh that we've created as our furniture item So using our widgets, so move, rotate. You just want to position that. Don't use scale again. Don't use scale for poses. So click drag and we'll move that approximately into position. So if we click on the seat node, we can see where the origin is. So it's slightly off center. doesn't have to be perfect just needs to be approximate there we go so now that we've done that so these are our furniture nodes this is the skeleton so once we've done that object mode back into pose mode and then we can pose our avatar so again we click on the elements and we use the widgets move rotate again we don't use scale let's position the avatar so that's the hips or oh, that's pelvis node that's the elbows which also controls the arm That controls the wrist and the arm so I'll do a quick pose rotate rotate 
rotate. Let's So the avatar is about to do a legs out abs exercise legs out that controls the foot and the legs that's leg one That's like two. That is our pose. As we can see, because we have auto key set, it's dropped in markers relative to these control points and the bones of the avatar that they represent. Let's just move the head a little bit. And that will be our furniture pose. So let's save this file, save as. Pose. Save as. Now this is a static pose, so it doesn't move. So before we export, we want to make sure that make pose is active and export all bones is active. So click those two checkboxes. Let's just save over that again, save. And then we can export by clicking the export button in the toolkit. Click. The toolkit will do its thing, producing an FBX that we can now import into Studio. So with Studio open, we need to create our new project. So click the Create button. That creates a new project. We want the empty furniture item, which is in Rooms Furniture. Studio has remembered the last derivable project that was derived from. So we're in furniture already. But we need to select empty furniture. Preview is blank because obviously there is nothing associated with an empty. So then we just need to click on Derive. So derive. This opens the avatar based on our settings with an otherwise empty scene. So we're going to import two FBX files. So first we want to import FBX. So we're importing the furniture FBX and the toolkit prepends, in this case for the furniture tool, it prepends F U R N Fern in front of the file name. So in this case, this is our file that we want. So select open. We'll go through the import process. So this is a preview. Click on setup FBX. Scale, that's okay, we don't need to change that. Skeleton, that's okay, we don't need to change that. Mesh ID, we can leave that as is, or if we want to make sure that we're overriding anything that might be in the derivable that we're driving from, set that to zero. Then click Next. Next. Got our material. We can change that if we want here. Next. No animation. Review. That's what it's going to bring in, and then import. So that imports and assembles the furniture item using, at the moment, the standard standing animations of the avatar. So we're going to change that now by importing the second FBX, which is the animation file. So let's just move the avatar off the furniture item for the moment. So FBX import again. This time we want the animation file, 
which is prepended anim. And we want this file. That's our file for the animation. So select, open. We'll go through the same process again. That's a preview. Click on setup FBX. So again, scale's OK. We don't change this generally. Skeleton, that's OK. No mesh information, so that's OK. Next. No materials. There is our animation. That's the pose. Review. And then import. So, as we've brought in a file with another skeleton, that's overridden and replaced the furniture skeleton, so the handle no longer exists. So to fix that before we do anything else, we need to go into Component and edit the project. Click on the skeleton icon. There's our skeleton. And in the Asset panel, we want to change root node or the asset to root node, root node XSF. That's the root that's associated with the furniture item that we imported, the FBX. So select, reset, and we should have our trigger handle back with our furniture item. So that's reset the skeleton for the furniture. So now that that's done, we can set up the action. So actions. Create new action. There is our action. And we want to name this. At the moment, it's defaulted to new action. We want to change this to stance dot and the name or the label that we appended to our seat node. In this case, it was stoolie. So this is our trigger that will trigger when the seat node is used, that then will trigger the animation sequence. So click on the plus button to add the ensemble. An asset, we should have, and click on the drop down, our animation sequence, and there it is. So set that in place. This is a static pose, so start frame one, end frame two. I'm going to loop this infinitely, so that's zero. Composition, replace. Everything else is OK. We can disable gaze optionally if we want. And then just click apply to apply those changes. And then we can preview. And there is our custom pose on our custom furniture item. So we're using a custom seat. So the seat node is here, and the pose is rigged relative to that seat node as our custom pose. Obviously, save the project. Save as. Duly custom pose, save, and then obviously all we'd need to do next is go into the info tab, change the settings, profit, and then submit to the catalog. But that is the basic process, creating a custom pose for a furniture item in Blender using the furniture and animation toolkits.